My name is Sam Tan and today we're going to look at the transition process for those moving their courses from Moodle 1.9 to the latest version Moodle 2.4 and using the typical backup and restore route. In here we've got a typical installation of Moodle 1.9. Now we have an account already logged on so if you haven't logged on you would have to do this um, by the typical login route. But um, be, be reminded that you would require at least a course creator um, level access to the course uh, model course 1.9 um, in order to, to enable you to provide to create a suitable backup from your courses. Now we're just going to go quickly into our course area um, and zoom in to the English uh, department um, and we'll go straight for uh, the key stage 3 courses <clears throat> under the subcategory uh, we have here English Year 7. Now in English Year 7 you would have all the courses under this category um, for the purpose of this tutorial we will be backing up a 7.1 transition unit so that's English Year 7 7.1. Now you'll notice that some of these um, courses are well um, sort of well prepared they've got a lot of resources in them um, typical activities and homework etc um, all the transition unit for each lesson from one um, and it goes on to lesson 24 I believe so here you are you've got a very well prepared course area and you would want a snapshot of this or a backup um, for you to bring across to um, version 2 um, or 2.4 which is our target version now bear in mind that we've got two separate servers installed you may not have this option or you may have a test server which is a one uh, 2.4 that you would want to recover the courses onto um, whatever scenario we're looking at a 1.9 to 2.4 transition um, so let's go ahead and click on the backup option here now when I click on the backup option under the site administration route I am pre presented with a host of options to backup now we are just going to accept the default and the course files being yes the site files used in this course being yes so these will actually package the, the backup of all these uh, resources that have been uploaded to this course um, and any files that it used from the site files uh, repository so I'll click on continue to go ahead and back up this course now note, note that the backup transition uh, for unit 7 here um, has been given a name with a date stamp and time stamp now this is particularly useful and you need to note this uh, because you would need to retrieve this particular file later in the site uh, the course file area now I'll show you in a bit uh, after we've created this backup where this file will be located so just bear in mind if you're making multiple backups you would want to know uh, take note of the time uh, date and timestamp to ensure that you've got the latest backup now if you scroll down to the bottom of this list um, we are going to do all the the entire backup but does not and it does not include user files now if you logged on as um, an administrator I'm here as a creator a course creator you would have the option of here uh, to back up the user data as well um, we're not bothered about user data we're moving um, these courses to a separate server but if you do have um, the requirement to move your users across including all their files and assignments um, you would then have to log in as an administrator to carry out this uh, backup again um, so we're going to click on continue and this is a typical report of the activity that happens in the back end um, in all to sort of create the backup files itself um, it all comes down to this backup completed successfully and this is what we like so if you click continue here you would then go back they would then put you back into a folder called backup data under files in your course area and this is our course backup that we've created today 
Now, just to give you um, an idea where this sits in your Moodle 1.9 um, course area, this would be in under administration, uh, files, backup data, and there's your file again. Um, so here we are uh, successfully backed up 1.9 Moodle course um, which we would then uh, hope to download and, and bring across to uh, Moodle 2.4 or Moodle 2.4 server um, and there you are this is the end of part one of two so catch you later at part two where we looked at uh, recovering the course that we've created backed up uh, the using recovering the course using the backup that we've created on uh, this 1.9 server back onto a 2.4 server and we'll look also at the up, uh, the, diff uh, the, the downside of doing such a, uh, a recovery uh, what you'll be missing from the 